What's up guys, today we're in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm gonna take you around and show you the top five Tacomas at Overland Expo West. All right guys, I'm here with Bobby. He's the owner of CVT Tents. How's it going, Bobby? How's the show been so far? It's been great, man. That's awesome. Uh, good. Good show of people out today. Uh, great response throughout our booth. Uh, just really enjoying it. You got yourself, you build a sweet Tacoma here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about it. How long did it take you to build it? Well, actually, Rockstar Garage built it for us. Uh, it's been down there since October, mostly waiting on parts uh, to get in. Um, but basically, brand new. Basically, brand new truck is our 14 long bed um, with just a bunch of new upgrades finally to get this going. Yeah. And if you have to choose one upgrade, is there one that you really like or you just overall? If I could name them all, <laughs> I really don't have one. I mean, the, the build turned out better than I can imagine from, you know, you have the, the, the interior from the seats to the stereo to anything from the BDS, from Fox to, I mean, you name KMC, Dixie Pick, I mean, just everyone, CBI. Um, it just goes on and on. But Rockstar Garage by far did a great job on it. We thank Nick and Rex over there at Rockstar Garage they for what they did. Sweet yeah, they do. Was there any challenge that you, you guys had to deal with as far as installation go, or did everything go smoothly? You know, everything went pretty smooth. It seemed like everything went really well. I mean, from it, it breaks, exhaust, everything you can think of. I mean, it, they got in there, they got it done. Again, waiting on a lot of parts to come in. You know, it's, that's how it happens. Everyone gets busy. But all in all, it turned out fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. That's awesome. Bobby, tell us, what's the best way to find out about your tents? Where can we find you? The best way to do is you can check us out at CascadiaTents.com. You can also check us out on Instagram at CVT Tents. Just check out your friends. Look at their tents. Hopefully they have CVTs. <laughs> Sweet. I'll make sure to put a link down below. Bobby. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. For the next product, we're gonna have the owner of Altitude Racks talk a little bit about their product. It's super sweet. This thing just opens, you know, it, but I'm gonna let him explain. What's up, man? All right, how's it going? Yeah, Thank my name is Glenn Gibner. I'm a co founder and co owner of Altitude Rack Systems. We make a mechanical truck bed rack that raises and lowers at the push of a button. So you can have the benefits of a, both a high mounted rack system with a rooftop tent or cargo basket or a low mounted system. Cool. And when do you think you're gonna have it ready for the market? Uh, we're ready to rock and roll with the Tacomas. Yeah. And then we're working on full-size trucks right now. Okay. Awesome. I'll make sure to put a link down below. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm here with Rex, dude. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming by. This is his beast right here, dude. Tell us a little bit. How long did it take you to build this thing? Um, overall, the build. Um, if we did work on it alone. Probably about three months. Three months? Yeah, it took me about six. I was just working on a few other rigs. Okay. We do, we tend to do our builds like at the same time as all the parts come in together usually since all of these are the same, you know, partners and everything. Like okay. So it's three months. What has been the biggest challenge so far? Uh, I mean, the biggest challenge, I mean, is for me the most nerve wracking was doing, cutting the fenders and making them look OEM. Dude, that's definitely, everybody, everybody's like, dude, I don't like to cut the fenders, but yeah. once you get through it and you see how good it looks, it's... Yeah, I mean, definitely nice. got a lot of compliments about it. Um, biggest thing that people are, you know, mind blown about is that they're still stock fenders. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Oh, look at me, no, I'm surprised. <laughs> that's cool, man. If you have to choose one product to be your favorite product on this build, what would it be? You know, I mean, everything works really well. Um, I mean, everything from the big brake kit, you know, I've stopped all the way to have and everything. Um, I mean, the most, probably the best thing about it is the CBD tent, because you get to, get to go out, use it. I mean, you get to go places and sleep in different, you know, areas and everything. Sweet, man. Well, hey, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, no problem. You got yourself a sweet Tacoma. Oh, thanks. I was Rex. Make sure to check him out on Instagram. I'm going to make sure to put a link down below. Guys, I'm here with Bernie, and your name is? I'm sorry? Kristen. Kristen. Nice to meet Mateo, you guys. Nice to, nice to have you, man. Dude, it's been so hard to find you guys. You guys have been all over the place, but finally I managed to do it. Yeah. I've, I've been following you guys on Instagram for a long time, and it's been inspiring to see a couple. You guys are husband and wife operation, correct? Yes. yes. We've been married for 16 plus years. That's awesome, yes. guys. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. What inspired you guys to start this? So I needed a new daily driver, something that was a lot more reliable for our family. We have kids. We wanted to just be able to pick up and go somewhere. Um, so we chose the Toyota Tacoma. 
Um, we're, we've always modified our vehicles and customized them to what we like. Um, and the Tacoma is the perfect platform yeah, to, I agree. True. To, to mod. So. My decision is biased. <laughs> yeah, <totally. laughs> but uh, I think three years ago we came out to our first Overland Expo West and we just loved everything that we were seeing and uh, the culture, the community to get out there and be able to camp or off-road or just hang out with the community. And um, so then we just went from there and built yeah, it so however cool we liked here. it. It's, it's, there it's pretty awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. how long did it take you guys to build it to where it is today? Ooh. It's well, been I mean, a while. It, it, it's, on, cool. it's ongoing. We're always changing and making sure it kind yeah. of fits with what we're doing. Uh -huh. um, so um, we've had it for three years now. So three years. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. man. If you had to choose one of the biggest challenges in building this truck, what would you say it was? Challenges yeah, like, like hard or as, easy? Yeah, as far as like installation goes, or trying to fit something that, you know, where you were pushing the extra miles to just get it in there. It wasn't meant to be any challenges at all for this build? I would say that the most difficult thing for us was picking products okay. um, that... Choosing the right product. Choosing the right product because it's my daily driver uh -huh. and I want it to look aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. So for instance, like I knew there was the need for high clearance rear and front bumpers, yeah. but going and really checking out all the products out there to see something that not, not only was function. usable, yeah, functional, but that I like the yeah. aesthetics as well. That's true. So That's just having the patience to go through and research everything. Yeah. yeah. Me, it's like, I'm super OCD, I love to clean, so I'll take something apart to clean it and put it back. So that's just like my process, like working on the truck is like more of like a stress reliever for me. So she drives it, but I get to tinker with it. And so like in the evenings and the weekends, I'll go and just take something apart, something I don't like that that didn't have like a really good usability to it. Yeah. And so I try to find it and make it more usable. At the end of the day, this is like a big Lego piece for us, right? It, is. it <laughs> yeah. totally is. It totally is. And so, like with this new uh, RLD uh, canopy and the new tent setup from James Road, it's like uh, we're kind of starting from scratch. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I really dig the new look. I love this setup right here. Yeah, no. So, so you guys did a great job. You've been huge inspiration for me and my girlfriend. I actually referred my girlfriend. Like, Check them out. Look, they go Aww. out together. <laughs> they do this, and that has allowed me to go around. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So within, uh, so this is gonna be at SEMA okay, this cool. year. Again, because you were there last year too. I was at the engine booth. So I'm gonna be in the James Burrow booth cool. this year. But the truck is gonna, we're gonna kind of optimize the rear end okay. or the back half of the truck to, you know, with a fridge and okay, putting cool. our stuff that we had set up from our old bed rack sy yeah. system we're gonna incorporate it back into this it just we just put this on like a couple weeks ago so we just wanted to kind of make sure that we get here yeah. first and then test it out yeah test sure. it out yeah see what we like move stuff around and and awesome. make it more for us well guys thank you so much for having me yeah. you guys you. want to check him out on instagram uh, i'm gonna make sure to put a link down below thank you guys thank you <laughs> yeah mateo thank you very much I'm here with Jason, also known as Taco Dust on Instagram. Make sure to check him out. I'm gonna make sure to put a link down below. How's it going, man? How's the show so Mateo? far? It's, it's been, been great, good? man. Yeah, we've had a really good show so far. A lot of good people. Gonna see some some new faces and see our old friends. So it's been it's been rad. We've been That's having cool, a good man. time. Yeah. So, dude, your your truck is looking incredible. It's looking really sweet. How Thank long you. did it take you to build this thing? Um, in its current configuration, we're looking at a little under a year and a half. So I got it last January. Um, I had a previous Tacoma before that. Flipped it. Oh no so way. Totaled it out. Yeah. So I got. I got the short bed this time, I had a long bed before. But yeah, it's been a year and a half to get it to where it is. That's awesome, dude. It definitely looks really sweet. I love the white stance that you yeah. decided to go with. Yeah, no, it's been a it's been a journey for sure. Long That's travel, cool, more more travel, more problems for sure, but <laughs> it's been fun. And so far, what's your favorite product on this, on this build? Um, I would have to say, like, it's a, I'm considering who uses the truck, main, me mainly, but I think the, the camper has been like the game changer for us. The Go Fast camper has been probably, it, it's gotten me and my girlfriend out a lot more together and we, it just makes it quick. So we don't have to, we don't have to think about it. It's, if it's raining or if it's dry out, hot, whatever, we have kind of like a cabana, it starts raining, we just go in there and we don't feel trapped pop up in the doors and you're good to go. It's just been a game changer. That's Super awesome. light, I can drive the truck as hard as I want and uh, it doesn't, I don't feel it. 
That's so, sweet, man. Yeah, I like the idea of just shutting it down. You're good yeah, to go. Yeah, it's good, and then it's still your truck, so you don't lose a truck with all the weight. Yeah, it's it's been awesome. That's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Now, uh, tell me, what has been the biggest challenge? Um, I think honestly, and this isn't to say anything bad about any sort of company in particular, but fitting the fiberglass was a big challenge. Yeah. It's uh, no one part is the same. It's handmade. Um, and so I would say take your time yeah. and uh, if you like to work on your truck, which I, I like to work on my own truck, if you like to do that, take your time and don't put, set time limits on it. Have fun with it and really just make it your own thing. Don't put pressure on the, on the time limits, set time aside and uh, just be patient with the fiberglass because it's not sheet metal, it's, it's not perfect. It takes time to prep it, so yeah, fiberglass fitting the fiberglass is definitely a, a big challenge. I can, I can sure. relate to that. Yeah, man, you you gotta that. have patience yeah. if you're gonna be doing that. Long. For sure, man. Well, but it it looks great. It does. Really it really does look good. Yeah. Man. Well, Jason, thank you so yeah, much dude. for your time, man. Thank you, Mateo. I appreciate it. It looks sweet. Thank you. Guys, I'm here with Walt, and this is his Tacoma right here, dude. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dude, how long did it take you to build this thing? Um, I think total work time, because how complex this whole thing was, probably about three months or so. Three months. Uh, wow, that's business days, fast. business days. You figure a five day week. Okay. You know, so something like that. Nice. And what's uh, so far? What's your favorite product on it? You know, honestly, I'm gonna kind of go down to the suspension though, as a whole. Okay. Um, it because you feel it when you drive it everywhere, whether you're on the pavement or off road, no matter how aggressive it gets that is a constant reminder of how well the truck works. So I think it took so many years to kind of get all that dialed in. I think that's kind of my focus and my favorite component. You know, the total, What's the exact suspension on it? This is the Total Chaos plus two long travel, so it's two inches wider per side. We run with King coilovers okay. uh, on every every truck we build. Uh, coilovers, rear shocks, uh, bypass shocks in the front if it's a stage three um, for what we do. Uh, or a uh, plus 3.5, you know, we've got a couple different options there for how the truck's built and how the client wants it to work. So, um, this client had uh, something real specific in mind with the amount of weight he was going to carry. So, just kind of focus on that, and that's where we can fit the suspension in. Nice, man. Uh, and what has been like the, the most challenging part of this build? What would you say that is? Yeah, that's a tough one, but uh, I think we're going to kind of go down to the Bring it down to the the inner fender liners okay. that we're doing because yeah, you guys you guys kill it with that. And, and that was a tough one because I knew what I wanted to happen. I, it's a very functional aspect of, of what goes on when we do the fiberglass bed sides and the front fenders because now your airbox is exposed and m most trucks that are using fiberglass front fenders really don't feel that in with anything. Yeah. Yeah. We started with sheet metal and that's just a little harder to form. So we, when we do these, we make a template, put it in, we hand mold it on the truck while it's with us. So unfortunately we can't just spit out a template and ship it out. It has to be built on the truck while it's with us. And it's kind of it kind of makes it unique to us, but once you see it, it's really nice form fitting. It is molded to the inside of the truck per truck, kind of like a fingerprint. And it's it's a finishing touch, a very functional finishing cool. touch. Cool man. Now what's the best uh, place for our viewers to find your page? Uh, I would say just go to Instagram at TAV LLC, just tactical application vehicles on uh, on YouTube and uh, uh, Facebook. Cool. I'm gonna make sure to put a link down below so you guys check that out, dude. Thanks for having thanks, me. Thanks, brother. Yeah, hey, man. See you around. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for this video. There was tons of Tacomas to choose from. It was definitely hard to make this decision. I did go around a couple times, looked around, saw what you know gadgets they had and 
it was definitely a hard decision to make. I wish I would have had time to go over to the campsite and seen some of the attendees trucks. I, I know for a fact there must have been some sweet rides over there. If you guys saw Tacoma that you think should have made it to the top five, I would like to know. Leave a comment down below. It would be pretty cool if you guys can tag his Instagram as well. I'll see you guys on the next video.